Hi, my name is David and in today's video I'm going to tell you about a completely new approach to sublimation printing on polyester fabrics or polyester blanks. So on our channel you have seen many videos on toner transfer using the ghost white toner and different transfer media for the personalization of um, fabrics, textiles uh, and hard surfaces. So um, when it comes to sublimation, um, a lot of you are probably familiar with inkjet-based sublimation. Sublimation itself is a technology where a colored dye um, turns into gas from a solid state under heat and pressure without passing through the liquid state. So using sublimation you can uh, print uh, any four color design and transfer it um, to um, all kinds of polyester coated blanks. There's a huge market out there for these blanks, for example like these hand towels or like a classic polyester coated mug, um, a polyester coated coffee to go mug, um, very popular these days, a co polyester coated baby body. Of course, polyester coated sports garment. The whole sports garment sector is all polyester and uh, all these things can be personalized using sublimation. Polyester caps, polyester folders, polyester briefcases, phone covers and a huge variety of items you can think of that can be personalized using sublimation. The downsides of the existing technology um, are that you will always have to use a special release sheet to print on before your transfer and um, that you have regularly very high ink cost for the sublimation enabled ink and um, uh, you will have to keep your sublimation printer running um, at least once a week or often as possible um, so that the ink in the printhead doesn't dry out which will cause the print head to block, uh, which will cost you to costly replace that print head. Um, besides that, inkjet sublimation is a fantastic technology, but today I'm going to show you a completely new approach to sublimation. So make some room for the Ghost Sublime Toner Cartridges. Sublime Toner is a special toner cartridge available in the colors CMYK, so in black, uh, magenta, yellow and cyan and these toner cartridges um, are filled with a dye sublimation toner with a sublime toner that will transfer onto any kind of polyester blanks using a regular heat or mug press. So, but before I bore you with more facts about the Ghost uh, Sublime Toner, let me just quickly go over to my printer pop in the Sublime cards and get started by producing a sample for you. All right, this is an HP LaserJet Pro M452, a four color machine equipped with regular toner. So I just open the um, toner case, I open the toner tray, I take out my regular um, cyan, magenta, yellow and black cartridge and replace those cartridges with the Ghost Sublime cartridges. You can do this as often as you like. Um, if you have that laser printer, just buy a set of sublime cards and uh, you can replace uh, the toner as often as you like. So, here's the black one. All right. The yellow one. As this is a regular laser printer with no um, alteration to the printer, you can change the cartridges um, anytime. Um, another great feature about um, this uh, laser approach to sublimation is that you can at any time swap back to your regular cartridges or to a ghost white toner cartridge for white toner transfer and laser printing. But today I'm going to show you how to print with the sublime toner. Alright, just one more card, gentle one. All right, once all the cards are in the printer, I'm closing the tray, closing the printer and turning on the machine. Cool. Today, I'm going to print a floral design like this on a small polyester cotton type of sheet. This is a very 
soft polyester which is used a lot in all different kinds of t-shirts. It's a very stretchable polyester, um, so uh, it is also like a little bit mixed maybe. Um, so this is something you can uh, easily use. You will find many polyester blanks. Most uh, companies that sell blanks also suggest you which blanks are sublimation enabled and which not. And all sublimation friendly blanks will frankly work with Ghost, White, uh, Ghost uh, Plime Toner. All right, the printer calibrates itself automatically and now we should be ready to start. I have my four color design on the screen. This is just a regular JPEG file. You can print without any software or profiles that you need to install. You just simply have your design, hit the print button. The only setting you have to bear in mind is that you flip your image horizontally. Then you just hit print and run your print. So you have not seen me entering a special kind of transfer paper, right? This is why, this is because we're just printing on copy paper. With Ghost Sublime Toner, you save the cost for any transfer or release sheet because you can simply print your design straight onto regular 75 or 80 gram copy paper using that to transfer. So this is one of the huge advantages um, of the Sublime Toner. No more transfer paper and no more software, just print your design. Right, once the design is printed, you can see that the colors are slightly off from what you see on the screen. But after the transfer, the colors will pop out really nicely. So I'll give it a little detail here. Regular copy paper with a nice floral print. Okay, cool, let's hit to the heat press. I'm using um, a standard heat press with a push out tray. So I pull this tray out. I place my polyester cotton on the bottom plate. This bottom plate doesn't have to be preheated or anything. I just have a silicon sheet here to protect um, the bottom plate for the sublimation. Then I'm going to cover it with my um, uh, regular copy paper print, <laughs> with my supply donor print, with the printed side facing down towards the material. Right? Okay. Covering it. Pushing the tray back in. Closing the heat press. We're pressing on 200 degrees Celsius for 60 seconds. This is an automatic heat press that closes automatically and opens automatically. In these 60 seconds, the dye inside the sublime toner print turns into gas um, from solid state without passing through the liquid state. That means our image stays crisp and sharp and doesn't blur, right? Um, and the gas goes into um, the net of the polyester fabric and stays there. That's a chemical reaction that um, occurs during this process. Um, that does not only mean that you will have a very durable and washable print, but also a stretchable print. Because in difference to any transfer application, um, the print is not on top of the garment, it is in fact inside the polyester of the garment. The same is for all polyester coated hard surfaces, blanks, from key rings, mugs, bottles, coffee mugs, all, all the things that you can imagine used um, with sublimation. Once our timer is off, we're going to open the heat press. And we just simply peel off um, the copy paper with the print on and we have a perfect sublimation result on our um, polyester cotton sheet. So that's what it looks like. You can see it stretches fantastically um, as the print really um, uh, sublimated into um, the garment. You can see uh, on our copy paper um, that now the print looks quite faded. So the dye has been taken off um, from the sheet uh, onto uh, our um, blank. Ghost Sublime Toner is the easy to use approach to sublimation. Using a laser printer instead of ink saves you cost because laser printing is a low cost printing solution. You don't have to buy special transfer papers as you can print straight on regular copy paper. You can personalize any polyester based blank like polyester fabrics or hard surfaces. Please check out our other videos where I will show you how to do a mug using Ghost Sublime Toner. This is Ghost Sublime Toner, a very new product um, which we love you to explore. Please check the description of this video to find the direct links to all Ghost Sublime products and a description of the steps how to use Ghost Sublime Toner. 
If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up below and leave your comments with suggestions for future videos or ideas. Thanks for watching, see you next time.